Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the thermal performance of the AORS 17X for 2023, and we'll also check out some fan noise here to see what the profiles are like, and also at ear level, what the decibels are that we have to listen to. I've been soaking this laptop using the Furmark benchmark for about the better part of an hour now, actually a little bit over an hour, and I've had it running full blast in AI mode, as I've talked about in my full review video, which is the best way to get the maximum performance out of this laptop. It takes some information on your device, sends it off to Microsoft's Azure cloud, and based on the application and the workflow that you're running, it sends back the best settings to help optimize the performance for that particular workload. And I can feel that there is some heat buildup definitely through the exhaust coming on the side, and of course, definitely on the back of the device. So just gonna grab my temperature gun here and let's check out what some of the surface temperatures are on this AORS 17X. So here we go. One thing that's interesting to note here is that there's actually another part of the device here. It's just about an inch that extends out from the back where the hinges are located and the actual exhausts are actually in here. So there is both exhausts on both sides with a set of ports in the middle around this AORS logo and the, trans uh, the transparent housing here. So let's start here actually. And if you look at the device here, we're right in the mid 30s. So I know that there's hot air being exhausted here. And as we go across, we can kind of see 44, 45 degrees roughly. And as we head on over, we can see 35 degrees. So I'll try to tilt it a little bit so you can see the laser pointer. And here we are, so we can still see 31. Oh no. So this is very annoying about this laptop. As soon as you tilt the screen, it, tr it tries to go into a shutdown mode. I can see here that the device is running at a full 175 watts right now. So I guess it kind of varies as to what is the performance levels based on the tuning it gets from the AI boost mode. As I've said in my full review video, it's kind of hard to realize what exactly is the levels there. But in any case, I'll try to be careful not to end up closing the lid. Just tilt it a little bit forward here so we can still have the device actively running. All right, so here we go. So we still see 36 and there about where the vents are, I can see that it's about 50, 53 degrees. But since you're never gonna actually be putting your hands back there or if you have it on a device, on a table, uh, you will be basically buffered from that heat so you won't feel it on your body. Hopefully you're not putting this on your lap with the laptop plugged into AC power and gaming in this mode because of the bottom of the device would get quite hot and it would be an uncomfortable experience on your body. If we turn to the actual surface temperatures of the device itself where you'd be resting your hand, so for example the WAS keys, the keyboard area, even the numpad over to the right hand side here, I can send some airflow that's being sucked in because this is used for air, air inflow into the device. It seems pretty quiet and you know I'm running right now in AI boost mode and the thermal noise I'm sure is low enough that you guys can hear me clearly. I did not have to tune up any of the stuff in post. So let's see, we right around 40 here mid 30s right below the display some 30s action there mid 30s okay a little bit 40 there i believe the gpu is on this side that's where we're getting all of the heat here and but still 40 degrees is not bad at all for about you know i can i can touch it it's warm but it's comfortable i'm not going to burn my fingers or scathe my you know fingertips here and if we as if we move down a little bit further we can see here that the device is actually nice and cool it's running at well below 40 degrees and all the way across and then if we head down to the number row the function key here we can see right there that it's actually well under control mid 30s to maybe 40 degrees right under 40 degrees and as we head across even into the lower 20s towards the edges of the device very very nice and cool customer now these edges here do get hot because again, there's heat being exhausted here and there's the heat vinks. The vapor chamber design is kind of like this, as you saw in my segment there in the review. So if we check around around here, we can see here that it's a little bit warmer. It's 45 degrees, but still nothing that's going to scar you or uh, be unpleasant. Same thing if we look at the left-hand side here, we've got 43-ish, 44, 45 degrees. Not bad, 40 degrees. And if we look at the WASD keys here in the center, they're very nice and cool. I, I can assure you that I've played games on this device for hours without having any kind of discomfort from uh, thermals or actually the heat building up and on my fingers. Two years ago with the 2000 or 3000 generation laptops, two years, three years ago, I would end up 
so hot that the fingertips on my fingers would start to feel a burning sensation from playing extended periods of time on those laptops. So this is a huge step forward. And whatever Gigabyte has done with the vapor, vapor chamber cooling for this AOR 17X, as long as uh, along with the four fans in this device and all of the thinner fan blades and all of the other tech that's included in here, it's doing wonders. So well done, Gigabyte. And if we look around the laptop here, you know, lower on the keyboard, it's very nice and cool. It's around 40 degrees. And keep in mind that this has been soaking for about an hour, so a little bit here. Uh, right here actually is the warmest spot near the, what is this, the apostrophe key? Yeah. And that's because the GPU is directly located beneath these keys here. So this cluster here is where it get war gets warm. But if you're gaming in daily use, you'd put your fingers here and your mouse hand is here. And because the device can be pushed a little bit further, you know, you're not actually right directly into the view of, uh, or in the way of all of the exhaust that's being exhausted right onto your hand. And if you go over to the trackpad here, a little bit further down, very nice and cool, well below 30 degrees, no issues whatsoever with the trackpad. Even on the left-hand side, as you're resting your hand, you know, it's well below 30 degrees, even on the right where the battery is located. So pretty well done, uh, no issues there. I'm seeing 174 watts consistently with this Farmark benchmark uh, running on the screen here. So we are getting the full power of the 408012 gig in this Gigabyte Aorus 17X. All right, so that's it for that. Let's listen in here and check some of the, the fan noise. First thing we'll do is we'll check with the sound meter. I'll position this directly next to the exhaust vent so we can hear what is the full uh, you know, sound noise level that's coming from this device, particularly in AI boost mode with the Farmark benchmark running, hitting right at that 175 watts of performance on that RTX 4080. Then I'll grab it, lift it up to my ear so we can say what is the audible level of sound noise that you would hear if you're gaming or using this mode and playing, getting the full wattage out of this device. So let's go here. I'll tilt this up a little bit so you guys can actually see clearly. So right about 55 decibels at the exhaust port. Now I'll lift it up to my ear and I'll grab a sample after a few seconds and I'll hold the, the measurement here so we can see what is the noise level at ear. Okay, so right at ear level, we're sitting right comfortably at 45 decibels. Uh, it's not very loud. It's actually a very nice experience considering what only laptops from two or three years ago were doing in terms of you know thermals and fan noise. So that's why I've been very, very pleased with this device overall. The sound levels are excellent. And keep in mind, the AI boost mode manages all three of the components that you need for gaming. So performance, which is wattage, current, and voltage that goes to that GPU to get the maximum performance and frame rates being pushed. Number two is the thermal, so keep the temperatures in check. Right now, both CPU and GPU are sitting at 78 and 79 degrees, and this has been going for well over an hour. So thermals are well under check. And number three is the fan noise. So as we can see here, 46 decibels is not very loud at ear level, considering this is running for... Uh, at a very high performance here, I'm getting 155 frames per second in Furmark. So uh, that'll be the uh, that'll be the AI boost mode. Now what I'll do is I'll switch into some of the other modes and we'll check the sound levels again to see what is the fan noise profile if we switch into turbo or the gaming mode on this AOR 17X. So let me just switch the modes here and I'll switch over to Gigabyte Control Center. Okay, so now we'll go over to turbo mode and we'll crank the fans all the way. Uh, this this is actually the turbo mode profile with the turbo mode fans curve. I'm not using the max fans at this point. This is just what has been defined by Gigabyte and tied to that turbo profile. So let's take a measurement first at the device. So right about 65 decibels that's coming out of the device there. If I hold it up to my ear, and right at about 52 decibels. Now, let's switch it over to, now we'll switch over to the gaming mode. And now the fan control switches over to a power mode that's defined in the Gigabyte Control Center. So now let's take another measurement here. We'll, we'll give it a moment to see how the Furmark benchmark is behaving. Yeah, the fans are starting to ramp up again. 
So just about 62 decibels uh, in the gaming mode with the default fan curve that's tied to gaming performance, which is the power fan profile. Let's see what is the noise at ear level. And just under 50 decibels at ear level, so a little bit louder still. So that's why I think that the AI boost mode is pretty fantastic. However, one thing that does improve with going into the gaming mode is that I, my temperatures have dropped a little bit now because obviously the fans are spinning higher. So I've got 73 on the GPU and about 74 degrees on the CPU. Now let's switch over and try a different mode. Okay, now we've tried turbo and gaming. Let's see what happens when we switch it into meeting mode. And this will put the fan into an eco profile, which should really drastically turn down the fan noise. So as far as performance is concerned, my GPU is now dropped to about 150 watts of performance, uh, and, but the temperatures are slightly going down as well. Right now I'm sitting at 74, 75 on the GPU and about 77, 78 degrees on the CPU. Of course, the fan profiles are much, much uh, quieter. So let's take a measurement here at the device. right around 50 decibels at the device and at ear level, right around 40 decibels. And if you're able to compromise to this level, I think this is an absolutely fantastic gaming experience. You can literally game on meeting mode at about 150 watts of power on this device. My GPU is still sitting at around 76 degrees and the CPU is well below 80 degrees as well. And it's actually a very nice balanced gaming experience. And then the last one we'll test here is the eco mode, which would drastically reduce power further. So let's go here to, or battery saver mode, excuse me, power saving silence mode. And I will unplug to demonstrate this. Okay, so now with the device unplugged, running in power saver mode, and the fan is on eco, so that means it's going to really tune down the performance here. All right, so now I'm seeing it It locked to 30 FPS. So when you're unplugged and trying to game or doing any heavy GPU work, it will fix it to 30 frames per second. In this mode, I'm getting essentially 62 degrees on the GPU and about 70 degrees on the CPU. My power level has dropped on the GPU down all the way to 30 watts, and I'm getting a lock 30 frames per second on this benchmark here. So if we listen in, below 45 decibels at the device. And well below 40 decibels uh, at ear level, essentially silent. And my GPU temperature is continuing to drop. I'm now at 57 degrees on the GPU. Of course, 30 watts is barely any power being pushed to that device. So it's understandable that it's very, very low temps. And the device is running nice and cool and fans. The heat buildup on this device and the way it exhausts and cools off is actually very, very well done. Uh, 30 watts here, and we're getting about 55 degrees Celsius and 64 degrees on the GPU and the CPU. Excellent, but I would not recommend that you game on battery mode. So let's plug her back in. All right, and we're back. Okay, so plugged in, if we play in this mode, the GPU is hovering a little bit higher now. We're about 140 watts. This is in the meeting mode. Just want to make sure. Yes, we're in the, or excuse me, the power saving in the silence mode. Fan profile is set to eco. So in this mode, I'm getting about 140 watts out of the GPU performance, and I'm getting 68 degrees on the GPU and about 72 degrees on the CPU, getting right around 100 and 105 frames per second in the Farmark benchmark. So again, it's essentially silent. Let's just listen in with it plugged in and that'll conclude this video. About 46 decibels uh, at the exhaust. And as we can see here, just about 38 decibels uh, at ear level. So pretty well balanced, 140 watts of power to the GPU in this meeting mode, and the device is essentially running silent. If you have a game playing, and if you've got the volume turned up halfway, you, for the most part, will not be hearing the fans all that much. All right. 
Okay, so I think this Aorus 17X is actually very, very well done for 2023. Gigabyte, thank you very much for finally providing us with a vapor chamber. The four fans definitely help. The fans are well tuned. The noise is not high pitched. We don't have any issues with ear piercing levels of sound as we did on the Acer Predator 18, excuse me, 16. And I believe most of the 16 inch devices will have screaming fans just because you have a smaller area for cooling and thus you need to push through a lot of air in order to get the same type of cooling effect and to draw that heat away from the device versus a 17 inch because with 17 inch you're going up to 17.3 inches actually diagonal width of the screen and thus your device will be a little bit larger so that gives for extra capacity and extra cooling to be uh, provided there also leave some extra space within the device it doesn't need to be quite as densely packed to allow that airflow to move through so if you're looking for a device with a 4080 or a 4090 this year i would say try to skip the 16 inch devices unless mobility is an absolute must go for at least a 17 17.3 inch device and of course if you're looking for top performance with overall best thermals and fan noise balance combination then you should be looking at some of the new 18 inch devices that are available this year thanks for watching see you in the next one